Hi. Now in this next part, part C, we're told that we've got this line L which has the equation x equals 13 and crosses this circle C at the points P and Q. And what we've got to do is find the y coordinates of P and of Q. You'll also notice, just as a reminder, we had the equation of the circle C. It was given to us earlier as x squared plus y squared minus 20x minus 16y plus 139 equals 0. And in previous parts, we had to find the center and the radius. And I transformed this equation into this one, where we saw that the center was at 10, 8, and the radius was the square root of 25. So, if you'd like to pause the video, give this question a go, come back when ready, and I'll run through the work solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Let's just see how you got on. Well, first of all, we've got this line L with equation x equals 13. So if we're trying to find the y coordinates of P and Q, all we've got to do is just substitute x equals 13 either into this equation or this equation here, which was equivalent. It's up to you. I'm going to substitute into this equation purely because I think it's a bit quicker and easier to work with. So do compare the methods. You might like to substitute into this top equation and see how it compares with working with this equation here. Okay, so I'm going to say that when x equals 13, what we're going to have is that if we substitute it into here, we're going to have 13 minus 10, which is 3, so we've got 3 all squared, then plus y minus 8 all squared equals 25. Well, clearly this is 9, and so if I subtract 9 from both sides, you therefore have y minus 8 all squared equals 25 minus 9, which is 16. Now there's no need to expand this bracket. We can work from here. We can just square root both sides. So when we square root both sides, we've got y minus 8 on this side equals the square root of 16. But don't forget you can have plus or minus. So what does that mean? Well, it means then that we've got y minus 8. We'll put therefore y minus 8 can equal either the plus root 16, which is plus 4, or y minus 8 can equal the negative root of 16. In other words, minus 4. So for this one, if we add 8 to both sides, we end up with y equals 4 plus 8, which is 12. Or, if we add 8 to this one, we end up with 8 minus 4, which is 4. And it did ask for the y coordinate of P and the y coordinate of Q. So, therefore, the y coordinate, okay, let's just write this in, of P. Well, what's that going to be? Well, it obviously is a greater y value than this one here, that of Q. So, the y coordinate of P must be 12. So, we'll just say is 12 and we'll say of Q is and it's got to be 4. Okay, 